welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Hopefully you guys are having a great night. I'm very happy you're here today. Um, today we're doing a very different video. It's very different from anything I've done before. It's kind of more of like a, let's chat about the beauty community. Um, I, for our page personally, I don't really want to get involved with a lot of drama. I'm not going to talk about other YouTubers. I'm not going to talk about that kind of stuff because that's not what I want for this page. But what I do want is to be able to give you guys an idea about the best products out there, the best subscription boxes out there, that kind of thing. So this is something that I've been kind of mulling around in my head. I've expressed both issues with BoxyCharm and Ipsy in the past. Um, they both are changing their subscription services. And for me, it is a little bit confusing what they're doing, why they're doing it, how it's gonna benefit the consumer. And um, I feel like honestly, they're doing it right at the same time to go head to head to each other. I have both of the emails pulled up for my accounts. Um, they're almost identical. Ipsy's came about a month ago and I got BoxyCharms today. Virtually what has happened here is, um, so originally Ipsy was of course a $10 a month subscription. BoxyCharm was a $21.99 a month subscription. Um, they both have recently incorporated, recently within the past year or so, incorporated the idea of the add-ons. Um, Ipsy's add-on was you added, you paid $25 um, either separately or in addition to your bag and you would get five full-size products essentially going after the original BoxyCharm, which is five full-size products. And then BoxyCharms was the Boxy Lux, which is a seasonal subscription. It is every three months and you pay an extra $28.99 on top of your $21 subscription. So it's a $50 um, subscription box and you get like $250 worth of products. They're keeping aspects of that. They're changing aspects of that. And I'm just going to one at a time dissect the emails and kind of talk about what I think is worthwhile. I'm still struggling internally about what I'm going to do. I have not figured it out yet. I don't know if I'm gonna cancel one of them. I don't know if I'm gonna get both of them. With us having the YouTube channel, it is very um, beneficial to have these sort of subscription services so I can provide insight into it for you guys. But um, at this, the end of the day, I really wanna make sure that I'm getting value for my money and not just kind of like flushing my money down the toilet. So um, without further ramblings, let's jump into, I wanna do Ipsy's first because they announced it first. So essentially what the um, Ipsy's starts off with is it's just, you know, you know, we're grateful that you've helped us build our brand so far by being a member. Here's what we're offering now. So first you get to choose a product every month. Um, that's a big deal for Ipsy. Personally, when I look at their list of products, there's always like two or three that I'm like, man, I would really kill to have that. And if I could pick one of them to be in my bag every month, kind of makes it worthwhile. So I actually am impressed that they're doing that. I think that's a good way to increase your value. And that way, if you are increasing your price, which I believe they are, I'm not positive, but I believe they are increasing it by like to like $12 or something like that. It kind of makes it a little bit worthwhile. They say you are now getting more than $50 in value in every bag. I would like to see more full size products. I know that in your normal size bag, I get that they're sample products, but I don't think it's too hard to throw in one or two decent sized products with every one. I've gotten them um, this month I got a full size offer highlighter. So I mean like it's manageable, obviously they've done it in the past. So if they're gonna say that it's worth a $50 value, then I don't wanna see five samples in my normal bag, just saying. Um, and then you can also pick up to five add-ons for your bag, which I'm assuming that would be like their add-on system right now, which is where you pay extra for those add-ons. Yeah, so here it says they are increasing the price of the glam bag to $12 a month. As long as the value is there, I don't think it's unreasonable. If I got the bag that I got today for $12, I'd be satisfied. If I got some of the bags I've gotten in the past, like five, six months ago, I probably would cancel it because I don't think that they were very much worth $10, let alone $12. All right, so Glam Bag, Glam Bag Plus. Um, the Glam Bag Plus, that's the original one that they introduced. That is the one that is $25 on top of your normal subscription. If you'd like to keep your bag with the minis, you will get both. Um, or you can opt in to just do $25 a month to receive five full-size products. I do know, um, I believe they are keeping it. Mom and I were really discussing it. She's been debating doing the Glam Bag Glam, that is a real bad tongue twister. The Glam Bag Plus for a while, um, she's considered doing, she doesn't wanna lose her bags. I kind of agree, I really like getting my little mini pouch. I think a lot of customers said, oh, but I wanna keep my pouch. I don't wanna like not have the little bag and get the products instead. So they offered, you know, hey, if you wanna pay the $10 a month plus the $25, you'll get both, which I like that idea. Um, I'm a fan of the idea of, of getting both and I've thought about doing it, but with BoxyCharm, I was kinda like, I don't know. Um, 
So I believe you still have the ability to do both. Uh, don't quote me on that. I have not yet seen anything definitive that makes me go, oh yes, I can't add that onto my original account. Um, if anybody knows and would like to comment and give me the definite answer, I'd be greatly appreciative because that might influence my decision. Um, now, the issue with me not being able to connect to the internet right now is I'm really trying to see what the big one is because I'm not 100% certain what that is. I know it is $50 a month. That is a lot of money on a subscription box. I can stomach paying $50 every three months for Ipsy or there's a couple other ones out there that's like, you know, FabFitFun. I think every three months you spend $49. I understand if you're getting a really good value out of each box doing that. However, $50 a month having no real idea about what you're going to be getting, what the products are going to look like, that's a really big risk because if you get $50 worth of products that you don't use or you already have or you don't care about, that is a waste of a lot of money. So, I mean, for me, for somebody like me who's very aware of like financial stability and their financial situation, the $20 a month for BoxyCharm is kind of iffy for me. So $50 a month every single month is a little bit like, yikes. Ah, aha, all right, cool. So I got it to the Glam Bag Plus page. Yep, five products every month. Some decent looking ones. They've got a good palette from Wander Beauty. They've got, this is from this month. They've got a couple good things that, you know, yet you can potentially receive in the Glam Bag Plus. It's, I still don't see anywhere where it says if I can add it to my original one. I know currently you can, I don't know with the change how that's gonna act. Okay, so Glam Bag Ultimate. Um, I finally got the page load. I'm still confused though. Honestly, looking at this is basically what I already knew. You're gonna get 12 products every month for $50. I don't know if that's 12 full-size products, 12 minis, five full-size products and seven minis. I don't know if the bag is included. I don't know what that is. Um, and I have yet to see anything that really explains what that is. So if anybody out there does know what it is, once again, I'd be really appreciative of you guys kind of letting me know because I've really been doing research. I've really, really been trying to find something concrete to say, this is what you're getting when you do the ba Glam Bag Plus. Yes, you can add it to your bag still. No, you can't do that. You, if you want to add it to your bag, then that's when you have to jump up to the full size one, the ultimate where you get, you pay $50 and you get the 12 products. I've yet to see anything concrete about that. And in my opinion, if you're trying to get people to join something, you need to be really, really, really clear. There needs to be a tab that explains exactly what it is, how many of each products you're gonna get. Hey, you're gonna get any variety of minis and full sizes. You're gonna get at least five full sizes and at least five minis. You may get extra full sizes one month and extra minis one month. I don't care what it is, I just need to know. If I feel like it is worth my $50, I'll subscribe. But if I don't feel like it is worth a $50 a month investment and you're not convincing me of it, there's no way I'm gonna join. Honestly, I don't think it's something that I'm gonna be able to do right away. I probably should do it right away as a beauty YouTuber. I should be like, hell yeah, let's get in on this. Let's do an initial review of it. I might do it just to see, but it's really, I'm very like uh, about it right now. And I don't like feeling uh, about stuff. So that's everything for the Ipsy side of it. I'm going to jump into BoxyCharm because this is the one that really inspired me to do this video because I received this today. And as you guys know, I was a huge advocate of BoxyCharm. I've had issues with them, was not happy at all with my August box, was not happy at all with how my charging went for my September box. The September box Deluxe was actually very great. I loved it. All the makeup on my face besides my foundation and my brows is from that box. But I just really struggled. They didn't want to accept any of my credit cards. So I had a headache there. So BoxyCharm has been kind of causing me some strife lately. I was really considering eliminating my membership. So to get this today, I was kind of like, wow, what do I do? Do I leave? Do I stay? Do I change? Do I go? What do I do? So they said in almost the same exact fashion, literally it's like whoever their marketing person is, they looked at the Ipsy one and they're like, all right, this is what we're going to do for it too. Not even kidding. It says, hello, Charmer. We're always looking to improve your Charmer experience. So we've got new membership benefits and a new BoxyCharm premium. They include customization. So starting this November, you'll be able to do complexion swashes and other things like that. Kind of like the beauty quiz that Ipsy does to be able to better match you for the products you receive. I am a big fan of that. I think they should have been doing that from the beginning. So to hear that they're implementing that now, I think that is a very good change. Um, choice. BoxyCharm subscribers get to select one of their items in their box each month. 
just like Ipsy, <laughs> like literally just like Ipsy. Um, and I honestly, if you want my opinion, I feel like BoxyCharm is doing this because of Ipsy. I feel like they would have probably stayed the same at least for a little bit while longer, but they saw Ipsy's changes and they were like, we have to do this now. That's my personal opinion. I have no proof of it. I'm just saying how it feels from a consumer point of view who is on both ends receiving both of these, um, this information relatively at the same time. Um, and then for Boxy Lux subscribers, you get to select one to three for your Boxy Lux every three months. I will say Boxy Lux has been letting you choose your products for a couple months now, for a couple a couple boxes now. I know the past two boxes I was able, they sent me a quiz. I was able to pick between products that I would prefer. And each time when I did that, I received the products that I chose. So they have been implementing that a little bit um, already. Um, and I'm a fan of it. So I'm a huge fan of that as well. Um, Add-ons, just like Ipsy. <laughs> You can add more beauty products at member exclusive prices with free shipping every month. Very similar to what Ipsy has been doing all along. Boxy pop-ups. So now this is like something that they've kind of been doing. I saw a little bit of it last month um, where they do like a pop-up sale and um, they send you an email and they're like, hey, we've got these products on super sale, 80% off, that kind of thing. And you can pick up really nice full-size products for a really good discount. Um, I think that's a good idea too. I think you might as well give your members access to the products that you have an excess of that they might not have received in one of their boxes but wanted. So I'm a fan of that as well. They say the value is going up to over $125 in each of their boxes. It was originally set at over $100 for each of their boxes. But along with that, starting November 1st, they will also be jumping to $25 in price instead of $21.99. $25 for whatever reason to me seems like a really big jump from 21. It's not. I know it is not. It was 22 essentially because it's 21.99. But mentally for whatever reason I'm going that's a big price jump. So right now they are giving until September 30th to price lock if you want to do pre-purchase. Nikki and I have talked about doing that. Um, we may. I may buy a year subscription or a six month subscription to price lock us in. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, Right now, everything is up in the air for me. Like I said, I'm really kind of talking through this to work through it myself and to help you guys. I would love to have dialogue. So like I said, please comment on this one. This is one that I really will benefit me if you guys are communicating with me and kind of telling me what you think, what your opinions are. Because I'm overwhelmed, frankly, with all the changes. I'm not, I'm a creature of habits. <laughs> all this change is like, oh, what am I going to do? They are also launching BoxyCharm Premium, which is a new, even bigger monthly beauty beauty box featuring six to seven beauty products valued at over $175 for $35 a month. Do I think it might be worthwhile? Maybe. Do I think I might do it? Maybe. Do I think it might be more worthwhile if I can add my Ipsy to the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and pay $37 a month for that? Maybe because then at that point you're getting a bag, five minis, and five full size. Kind of seems like that's a better deal than getting six to seven full size. It's going to depend on what the products are, of course, but if that's what they're going after to try and make it so that it's more like the Ipsy tier level thing, then I think that they would have to do include a bag or some, step it up somehow, include a bag every month, include something like that that doesn't detract from the products, that doesn't count as one of your products that incentivizes you to go ahead and do that. So, um, and then they did say that the Boxy Lux price will not change. So... Overall, a lot of information I just threw at you. It was a lot of information thrown at me. Um, I know I'm being really dramatic about it, like it's somehow life-altering. It's not. Truthfully, I enjoy getting these subscription boxes. I enjoy doing the subscription box videos. I like the unboxings. I like my mom and I doing our Ipsy comparisons together. I think it really is a one. It's like, it's fun. It's a good way to make it work. I just... I don't know what to do. And I, I feel like I shouldn't be having this big of like a struggle. It's so superficial. It doesn't matter, but it's something that I care about. If you guys are watching it, obviously you care about it too. Um, so yeah, I think ultimately what might happen is I might wind up just doing my price lock for BoxyCharm and paying at least six months ahead of time so I can figure it out and then seeing what happens with their newly implemented system. Um, and I may upgrade to the Ipsy. I don't know. Not Probably not the $50 a month one, but maybe to the, the 35 or the 37 if I can still do that where I can add my glam, black, glam bag. I'm going to get it right one day. My glam bag to the glam bag ultimate. Um, 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's very different from our normal content, but it's something that I think is really relevant in the subscriber community, the beauty community, and um, hopefully if you're watching these types of videos, then you're interested in it like I am. So uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. I'm really very curious. I really want to have a nice dialogue about this because I'm, I, I need help, honestly. Um, yeah, if you made it through the end of this video, thank you because I rambled a lot. Um, as always, I, I just appreciate your continued support. You guys have been amazing. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. We're very, very close to hitting our 100 subs, being able to do our 100 sub giveaway. Um, by the time this posts, we might be already be there. I don't know. But right now we're at 75 subs. And then um, we're really working towards that 1,000 goal. So please encourage your friends to subscribe as well. Um, and as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.